quick video today not very long only six just under seven minutes long this is the beginnings of a back routine that i'll be doing um i like to train back twice a week but essentially i always warm up with a few sets of chins or as as much of the chins as i can do varying grip and so there's just a few sets here normally six sets of five various grips before moving on to rows you'll see um, I like to do my rows on a block. It's just not a heavy weight at all. It's just 60 kilos here Really easy Get a nice stretch at the bottom um, I can do these with 150 kilos. So as I said, this is nothing at all stressful It's just trying to get back into the flow of training more than twice a week Which is all I was doing in the lead up to the Husafel carry um, so whilst I'm quite sore already, even after just bench press yesterday and this today, it's a different type of soreness. It's not feeling beat up. It's a nice muscular soreness. Anyway, a couple of sets of the, uh, I think four sets of this or so, changing grips um, from just slightly wider to shoulder from, to shoulder width to quite a bit wider, which hits a little bit more upper back. Um, as my flexibility and mobility improves I'll be able to keep my back a little bit flatter on these but there's a good contraction for me this really fills my back up with blood please check out those delicious triceps at the bottom of the movement there uh, there's a special prize for anybody who leaves the nicest comment so answers on the postcard too who's a what and who gives a fuck <laughs> anyway this is um, I think the last set or so of these, maybe before moving over on to um, single arm pull downs, but across the body, so that the arm is pulling across the centre line of the body. As you can see, I sit on that box and turn slightly away from the machine, so that the upper arm is pulling across the centre line. If you imagine the the way that the belly button is facing, I'm pulling across that really trying to lean into it and that gives a massive contraction in the lats which is exactly what we're after as i say and this isn't anything crazy nothing particularly demanding but just getting used to training extra few times a week carnivore diet is going okay it is i've got to be honest an incredibly boring diet it it really is it's just meat and it's just fish and uh, i do add a little bit of um, dairy in there but um, I love food as I'm sure an awful lot of lifters do and just to be restricted like that it really is boring so the idea is to get as much flavour in the food as possible but you know I'm one of those that I don't like to be restricted when doing that sort of a thing so I have to tell myself if I want anything else then I'm happy to have it it's the only way I can really get through it especially when I, when I see other people walking around the village we live in eating all sorts of stuff but anyway there's a few sets of this just to start to feel the muscles working again um interestingly when we landed back in england on saturday i was 113 kilos i think and then just so this is the third day of the carnivore diet or whatever it is second third day whatever but i woke up this morning and straight on the scales and was down to 109 now i'm aware that a lot of that is water weight but it's a good start um, I've been wearing the weightlifting vest, uh, the um, the weighted vest again. I've put another kilo in there, so I'll keep going with that, and hopefully that will continue to uh, make inroads into calorie expenditure, energy expenditure, which is only going to be a good thing. But I'll carry on with that. Water is good, hydration is good, sleep was a little bit better last night, as I'm hoping it's going to get as I start to lose a bit of weight. And then we can move forward from there. But anyway, this is uh, going to be uh, me signing off now. I'll just leave this video playing in the background. And then um, you can just, uh, carry on watching the rest of that if you like. But if not, there'll be another video up tomorrow. I'm thinking the one tomorrow is going to be more of a mobility, uh, a mobility one. Actually, um, prehab. Um, 
I'm not a big fan of rehab because I'm such a big fan of prehab. And I think before you start to feel like some pains, you should be doing something to help yourself. But everybody that does weightlifting at some point is going to get a little niggle or a little injury. Mine tend to be my shoulders. And um, that can be for many reasons. Tight pecs, tight lats. Um, it can be issues that you're feeling. It can be because your, elbow, um, your wrists are a little bit tight and your body's having to make adjustments. So I'll be doing a few things on that and chucking that up. And hopefully a few of you will find that helpful. But anyway, thanks for watching. And if there's any particular type of topic you'd like me to talk about over the top of these videos, um, as I say, I've been weightlifting for 30 years now, or so or over 35 years. So I've got quite a lot of information that I can dish out to people. And if you'd uh, anything in particular you would like me to talk about or make a video of, then more than happy to do that. Anyway, catch you all soon. Have a great bonfire night and see you next time.